VWID. Buzz California delayed because drivers would need special license. The Volkswagen ID. Buzz California has been delayed, according to the German publication Edison. If VW put an electric California into production, it would have an unladen weight of at least 3,000 kilograms, roughly 6,600 pounds. If you add four passengers and some luggage, the vehicle will exceed the maximum operating weight for the most common license in the European Union, Category B. A Category B license is for passenger vehicles up to 3,500 kg, seating up to 8 people. If we subtract the car's weight, the owner only has 1,100 pounds left for themselves, passengers, and cargo. According to the most recent statistics, the average European weighs roughly 160 pounds that's 640 pounds in humans, leaving only 460 pounds for luggage, which is insufficient. Remember that the California will be packed with everything the owner needs for an extended trip, including food, water, clothes, and adventure equipment, and that's where the weight issue stems from. Basically, you can get to the maximum limit of 7,700 pounds without even trying. If a European customer wanted to use their California, they'd have to apply for a C1 license. This allows for a rigid vehicle of up to 16,500 pounds Volkswagen has, correctly, surmised that getting an entirely new license would be a step too far for most customers. Getting a C1 costs $1,000, and you must receive theoretical and practical training before passing theoretical and practical tests. You also need to undergo a medical exam to ensure you're fit enough to drive, and after you're 50. The license needs to be renewed every five years. Any reasonable person would buy a Volkswagen ID.4 and put a tent in the trunk. Because of this hurdle, VW has had to return to the drawing board to find places to save weight. This will be challenging, especially if VW wants to include all the equipment you'd expect to find inside and outside of California. And we don't mean a basic bed conversion like the unit we saw at buses and coffee earlier this year. Earlier this month, VW previewed the next generation California, which will debut on 25th of August. The all-new California will be the first to be equipped with a plug-in hybrid powertrain. It will be interesting to see the effect of a small battery on the platform. For reference, the T6 California weighed 4,850 pounds, leaving roughly 2,800 pounds for cargo. What we have here is yet another unintended consequence of electrification. It could also be why electric pickup trucks aren't sold in Europe. A Ford F-150 Lightning in platinum trim weighs roughly 6,800 pounds while a standard Rivian R1T weighs 7,150 pounds with four passengers inside and a tin of beans in the bed, both these vehicles would require a C1 license. Volkswagen may want to hold off on a redesign, however. In March this year, the European Commission proposed modernizing driving license rules. It wants to push the Category B limit to roughly 9,300 pounds, but this rule change could take years. Before the EU can accept it, each individual country would need to make it law first. The Germans likely already did it, but the Italians missed the initial announcement because they went out for an early lunch. Politicians worldwide are quickly learning that noble intentions may lead to unforeseen consequences. Even the UK's Prime Minister said that its I-SPAN may not go ahead as planned, stating that he wants to avoid adding to household bills. While the objectives might be virtuous, loads of EV cracks are starting to show. What do you guys think?